This installment of the NeTech webinar series will detail how NeTech approach plug flow conditions in a practical manner. How do we improve mixing in the manufacturing space? How do we create a reactor system that enables the theoretical kinetic reaction times, obtained in lab scale, to be realised at pilot and full scales? Mixing in NeTech equipment is generated by eddies when fluid flows through orifice baffles. There are two ways we can achieve this. The first is via an oscillatory pump to drive process median back and forth through static baffles, as per the image on the left. The second is via a set of dynamic baffles moving back and forth through the fluid, which gives the same effect, as per the image on the right. The left-hand video illustrates the effectiveness of eddy mixing in an oscillatory baffled column where uniform mixing can be seen for two types of beads of different densities. The right-hand video illustrates how a careful choice of oscillating conditions can be used to separate particles of different densities. How do we operate this process continuously? Orifice baffles are placed along the tubes, including the bends, not drawn in this image. There is an oscillator at the start. The mixing is achieved by the combination of fluid oscillation and the presence of orifice baffles, which decouples the mixing from the net flow. Each baffled cell is uniformly mixed the accumulation of many well-mixed cells allows us to achieve plug flow. Each tube has its own jacket, enabling individual or collective control of temperature. It also provides multi-feeds of reagents. To demonstrate the plug flow in a NeTIC reactor, conductivity probes are located in three downstream locations to the tracer injection. The perfect Gaussian tracer concentration profiles are the fingerprint of plug flow. By using the tanks in series model, the axial dispersion model, for a 60 minute residence time, the system behaves like 550 CSTRs, and the axial dispersion coefficient ranges from 3 to 4 decimal points. Two decimal points are the best for other reactors. The long, thin arrangement of NITEC units gives a large surface area to volume ratio. A 50 meter long, 50 millimeter diameter unit has about 80 square meters of surface area to one cubic meter of volume. This is comparable to a one liter stirred tank reactor. The combination of plug flow mixing, minimizing heat transfer constraints, and large specific surface area is valuable for crystallization and reaction processes. The NITEC reactor is different to other tubular devices because mixing is not dependent on the net flow. Plug flow is achieved in laminar flows, accommodating longer residence times. This 11 minute video clip is condensed into a few seconds, showing solid liquid mixing. The solid concentration is about 20%. The red colour is used to illustrate the degree of plug flow. Over 60 reactions have successfully been executed in a NITEC reactor, including agrochemicals, dyes and pigments, pharmaceuticals, speciality chemicals, functional chemicals, biologicals and food materials. These reactions can be subcategorized as shown. For faster reactions, the NITEC tubular baffled reactor, TBR, has successfully been applied to the reactions shown.
Neetec technology is safer, greener, faster and cheaper than traditional stirred tank reactors. Based on an existing industrial Neetec unit, Neetec units have a 70% smaller footprint and are 40% cheaper, allowing for distributed manufacture. They are 30% cheaper to operate as they are energy efficient and can provide 10% improvements in yield. If you would like further information on the options available to access and implement Neetech technology, please contact us using the information on screen. Thank you for your attention. We look forward to speaking with you soon.